movies, music, sports, and life. Live from Miami, Florida. As you can see, this is a beautiful place to be in February. I'm telling you, uh, came out here for my birthday. My shirt is awesome. Rest in peace to Prince Marky D and the human beatbox. Cool Roski is the only one that's still alive. But, um, yeah, man, let's get right into the season finale of Power. Um, Mecca. Mecca is out of here. Now, when Monet was explaining that he was going to kill Tariq, and then he was going to turn around and kill me. Come on, dude. Hey, whatever you need to tell yourself to sleep well at night, Mary J, a.k.a. Monet. Mecca knows, you know, I got a big nose. Mecca nose was 10 times wider and more open for Monet. He was not going to kill Monet no matter what. OK, if that was the case, he would have been killed. Kane, you know, what I'm saying he he was not a y- y'all will probably agree with me. He wasn't a good actor when he kept telling Monet how much he loved her. But there was no doubt that he loved her. You know what I'm saying? Like, like we could see that that was that was the case. You know, that crazy looking ring he got her. Now, I don't I don't know about y'all. I'm not the type of YouTuber that would try to act like I know everything and ex- and understand everything that was going on. The whole plan with the bag and the fake bag and replacing it and then the way that they had people guarding the bag and they in the warehouse. It just seemed like a fake Marvel Avengers, fake Fast and Furious type scene. It, you know, am I wrong? It don't seem like it should have been that much drama or calculations over which bag is which. So that was kind of confusing to me. But Lorenzo said something real interesting uh, when he saw the figure that he thought was Mecca about to get on the uh, the jet. He said one more passenger. So I don't know if that meant that he was talking about his his bullet is finna join him on the jet. It, that was kind of weird. But um, I said in one of my reviews of Power that I could tell Lorenzo was a hothead. I could tell he doesn't think things through. Um, now he does good gun work. So when he was busting back and forth with those people, I can see he has some skills, but like I said, he doesn't think (laughs) if you, especially, you know, and not to stereotype you New York cats, you know, I'm from the Midwest, but the New York cats is, is supposed to be extra grimy. Like if this is the dude that's been smashing your girl and got a son with your wife. Don't you think you want to look a man in the eyes before you off him in the words of Scarface? And you're going to take satisfaction in shooting him from 200 yards away? So, it seems like it was way before the news. It seemed like way before the news. I don't know about y'all, but it almost seemed like after the shot. It almost seemed like he wasn't sure then. And I don't know, and you know, in his street knowledge, memory of experience, I don't know what made Lorenzo question if he had the wrong person. But when they put the camera on him after that, he for sure, not only did he know he shot the wrong person, I feel like he knew he shot Zeke. And he just never verbalized it. So that was really interesting because by the by the time the phone call came to Monet, I felt like Lorenzo had thought about this like seven, eight, nine, ten times that he shot Zeke. So you know Monet is not gonna be going for that. So that's gonna be a problem. In terms of our beloved Yaz, uh yeah, y'all know I got kind of emotional. I was kind of tripping seeing Yaz that sad at the dinner table, man. That just really, that really did me in. So to see her with the happy ending 
and see how much they had to practice what their names are and stuff like that, I was glad. And I was also glad that Tariq didn't get out the car and spoil it and, you know, then they have to do witness protection someplace else because he didn't keep up with the agreement. But I do think it's still going to be a problem for Tommy. Um, you know, as much as Tommy claims he loves Tariq, yeah, he's yeah, he already told him, like, your mom is out of here. Like, as soon as I get the opportunity. So um, I don't think Tasha's is safe. I think he was spared Yasmin, but, yeah, Tasha is not safe. She was looking good, though, you know. Uh, she looked kind of bored sitting up there by herself, but I guess that's her life now somewhere in New Mexico. And um, I'm going to close this one out with Lauren. So I told y'all that I was sure that Effie killed Lauren based on how she got in the bed with Tariq. She, there was a sense of her of knowing that if I can't cover this up, if I can't make it look like an accident or, you know how Tariq always gets to the bottom of stuff. If he finds this out, he is not going to forgive me. And it seems like she just definitely knew that. And uh, once again, they didn't show us how Mary made Carrie look like a suicide. And they definitely not showing us how Effie made it look like a car accident. But kind of interesting and kind of smart that Effie didn't take the money. So all the money that they gave her to last her, you know, by not taking that money and putting it in her own bank account or spending it for herself, she definitely makes it look like Lauren was desperate and just trying her best to get away and maybe lost control of the car because she wasn't focused on the road. So that was pretty intelligent. But once again, Tariq ain't finna go for that. Tariq ain't, for, ain't gonna forgive that, and Monet is not gonna forgive Lorenzo. So, great season. Um, I'm gonna give y'all my review of Tommy Season 1 Force <laughs> uh, while I'm at the airport. So, I'm gonna uh, go get my stuff together, and uh, I'll probably watch that on the way to the airport or at the airport, and then I'll give y'all my thoughts on the first show for power book four force jay sprue movies music sports and life